Stop using self-signed certificates on your OPN SANS firewall. I mean, seriously, why would you use a self-signed certificate if there are free services out there like Let's Encrypt? Hello YouTube, my name is Yaroslav and today I'm gonna cover how to get and activate a free SSL certificate for your OPN SANS firewall. First, let's start with why self-signed certificates are bad and then move on to the installation slash activation process right after. Reason one, poor security. You can't actually tell the difference between a two self-signed certificates until you pay close attention to the public part of the key that you can check inside your browser window. So if the attacker decides to mimic the web login page or create a proxy in between you and the most critical piece of equipment in your infrastructure, the firewall, you'll probably fall for that trick and give up the credentials. This can end up very bad as you could already figure out. Reason two. It's time consuming to accept the self-signed certificate warnings all the time. If you have at least 20 clients that you manage firewalls for and all of them use self-signed certificates, you know what I'm talking about. That few extra clicks time can feel like eternity, especially when you are on the phone with a client trying to resolve an issue. Reason number three. It looks extremely unprofessional. Imagine when you are co-managing IT for some organization and the other side needs access to that firewall. How would they react to the fact that the cert you've installed is self-signed? Not well, I can tell that for sure. Or if the company owner wants to look at the features of this firewall, he's gonna be like, hey, why is there this weird security warning? Don't I pay you to keep my IT security at high level? Sounds familiar, right? There are a bunch of other reasons that I don't want to cover because it'll be a waste of time. You're all technical and I'm sure each one of you has his own reasons. So without any further ado, let's dive into the tutorial itself. So on the screen in front of me, I have a fresh OPN Sense firewall system that I want to load my certificate on. First off, let's accept the self-signed security risk and continue. Now I'm gonna type in our admin credentials and blur them out, but you probably know how to log into your own firewall, don't you? So now when we are logged in, I'll be blurring out some private information that you don't need. First off, it's obvious, but I'll have to cover that. You will need a fully qualified domain name for your firewall for this to work. I am using the service I trust, which is called Namecheap, and it is for my own domain, which I bought and paid for, but you can use a bunch of free services like no IP. So with that covered, let's go to firmware, plugins, and we have to install a Let's Encrypt client, which is this package right here, OS Acme client. Hit install. Wait for the installation to finish and refresh your browser page. Now we can go to services Let's Encrypt. First off, we have to enable the service. Activate the advanced mode. Click enable the plugin. With this few options activated, we can hit apply. When this is applied up and running, let's go to accounts. Here we need to add our personal information in case something goes sideways. Let's Encrypt will notify us. So be sure you include a valid email account here. Now 
Next, go to Validation Methods. Add a new method, give it a name and choose the interface or virtual IP of your fully qualified domain name. You can leave the default here if you don't want to use your certificates with HA proxy. Hit save. Now go to certificates. Click add. Add your fully qualified domain name in here. Description is optional. You can also specify alternative FQDN here. Leave everything else at default and click save. Now we can see that certificate is in pending phase. We can go back to Let's Encrypt settings and make sure that service is running, which in my case it is. Then go back to certificates again so what we need to do now is select your certificate and click issue renew certificates now. Give it up to 10 seconds and refresh your browser window. So as you can see, we successfully acquired the certificate itself, but we still have a warning in the browser. This is because we need to point our system to use the new certificate from Let's Encrypt. In order to do that, go to System, Settings, Administration. Here at the top, click on the drop down menu and choose your new certificate from there. Scroll down and hit Save. Firewall will now try to reload your session with a new certificate. So now, if we look here at the top, we can see that connection is now secure and we are using certificate verified by Let's Encrypt. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be grateful if you tell your friends about my channel or anyone who might be interested really. If you need a technical advice with any of the products we covered in the past on our channel, please reach out to us via email help at gateway-it.com. Thank you all for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.